You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. New York City Mayor Eric Adams on Monday, January 24th, has announced a plan to end gun violence in a city reeling from the fatal shooting of a police officer and a spate of violent crimes, as he promised to increase police officers in New York's most violence-plagued communities. Adams, a former police captain, has said the plan would deliver on his November's election campaign, flexed by deploying more officers. Steaming the flows of guns into the cities and appointing anti-gun violence coordinators in every city agency. We are turning our pain into purpose, he said at a news conference following a city of highly public site lethal crimes in the city since he has sworn in on January 1st. Today, we are releasing our blueprint to end gun violence. I want to be clear, this is not just a plan for the future. It is a plan for right now. Gun violence is a public health crisis. There's no time to wait. We must act. The sea of violence comes from many rivers. We must dam every river that feeds this greater crisis. Our blueprint to end gun violence addresses each one of these causes with both immediate interventions and long-term prevention strategies. It will involve the NYPD, every city agency, our courts, and the successful anti-violence crisis management system. We're going to involve every community, every precinct, and our state and federal partners. New Yorkers will see and feel these changes quickly. We will ramp up enforcement, deploy more officers on the streets and in the subways, and get our courts at full capacity. This is the gun that killed our young officer on Friday night, a 45 caliber modified gun. It is illegal to carry a gun in our city, yet our police officers take them off the streets every day in record numbers. Since January 1st, when I took office, our officers have taken 350 illegal guns off the street. Last year, over 6,000 guns were confiscated. Our officers are doing heroic work getting guns off the streets, but traffickers keep the guns coming. That must end. We must stop the flow of illegal guns in our city. The iron pipeline must be broken. The NYPD is our first line of defense against gun violence. We will make new efforts to strengthen and reinforce it while continuing our mission to involve the community. We will start by putting more officers on patrol in key neighborhoods throughout the city. We will enhance existing public safety units with new neighborhood safety teams, which will focus on gun violence. We will launch these additional teams in the next three weeks with deep focus on 30 precincts where 80% of violence occurs, even as the public safety units continue their life-saving work. In doing this, we will avoid mistakes of the past. These officers will be identifiable as NYPD. They will have body cameras and they will have enhanced training and oversight. There are no gun manufacturers in New York City. Yet even as the NYPD removed 6,000 guns from our streets last year, we know that new guns are arriving by car, by bus, and by train every day. The NYPD will work with state law enforcement to implement spot checks at every entry point like Port Authority and other bus and train stations. We will also move forward on using the latest in technology to identify problems, follow up on leads, and collect evidence. From facial recognition technology to new tools that can spot those carrying weapons, we will use every available method to keep our people safe. Two police officers were shot in Harlem on Friday while responding to a domestic violent call, leaving one dead and the other in critical conditions. Two other officers were shot in a separate incident last week in other parts of the city. As in many U.S. cities, murders and gun violence have surged over the past two years in New York. Experts say the trend partly reflects the social disruption from the pandemics and its effects of reducing the numbers of police officers on duties. 
The city counted 488 murders last year, up 5.6% over 2020 following a 47% some years earlier. The biggest year-to-year -year percentage increase ever recorded in the country's most popular city. That spec ended a fairly steady decline in murders since 1990 when the numbers peaked at 2,245. Shooting doubled from 2019 to 1,532 in 2020 and increased 2% in 2021, according to city statistics. The blueprint to end gun violence will within three weeks put more police officers on patrol in 30s of city 70 precinct where 80% of city's violence occur, Adam said. The officer identifiables as New York Police Department employees will have body-worn cameras and in-hand trainings and oversight. Traveler into New York City will be screened for illegal guns with facial recognition technology at no spot checks at various entry points. City authorities confiscate illicit firearms on a regular basis with 6,000 removed in 2021, but new guns enter the cities at a faster rate, according to Adams. Adam incorrect prosecutors to 3H gun cases to ensure they are the first cases brought to court and urge lawmakers to reduce the numbers of guns that a person must traffic before they can be charged with a felony.